Welcome to the next video in the Restaurant Formula video series, Pricing for Profit. We're all in business to make money, and pricing strategy is one of the most important aspects to running a profitable restaurant. Making money in the restaurant business takes some math skills. Now I know, you're foodies, you're chefs, you're creative souls, but if you wanna run a business, you need to know your numbers. As a starting point, you should know the food cost for every menu item as a percentage and as a penny profit number. What's your gross margin in real dollars and cents? Pricing is part science and part art. The critical question is how to maximize the value you deliver to each guest while you simultaneously maximize your cash in the bank. The value you deliver is not just about your food. It can be enhanced or reduced by any one of the critical success factors, your service, environment, experience, or location. Customers compare all of this to the price paid to determine if they got a good value. As you're developing your pricing strategies, there are four things I encourage you to do. One, measure traffic, revenue, and profit by hour and by day. Then you can build purposeful strategies based on real information. Now that takes some time, but it will be very revealing. Two, shop your competition. Your guests always look at your value relative to the competition. So it's important to know what they're seeing out there. Three, evaluate your menu layout. Be sure you're placing the highest margin items in the most prominent areas of your menu. Four, make the value obvious. If you're using expensive ingredients, make sure the guests know it and you get credit for the value. Write descriptions that prominently feature the expensive ingredients. Here are 10 strategies that you can use to increase your sales and profits while also delivering great value to your guests. One, barbell pricing. Spread out your pricing so you have options across a wide range. Have some options for the price conscious customer and some for those who want to order the best. When I was at Red Robin, initially all of the burgers we served were in a tight range of prices between $8.99 and $10.49. When we implemented a barbell strategy, we had burgers all the way from $5.99 to over $14. The number of customers who wanted to have a premium price burger surprised all of us. Of course, the margins on the premium options are phenomenal even with the more expensive ingredients. Two, make it proprietary. Create menu items that customers can't get anywhere else. Don't just have a cheeseburger, add some special unique elements so it's a special burger. Evaluate each of your menu items. What can you do to take each dish from plain to proprietary? Proprietary items command higher prices, give you much higher margins, and are more chat worthy. Check out the PB&J burger from Historians in Denver. Peanut butter, jelly, wrapped in a butcher block paper with some bacon and tied with a string. Three, incremental visit pricing. What would it be worth to get a guest back again on the same day or in the same week? The key is to change the behavior of the guests and get them to do something they weren't planning on doing. This is all incremental profit to you. Look at this promotion from a coffee shop. Get a $1 pastry after 2 p.m. They know that many of these guests are going to walk out with more than a pastry. And by the way, those pastries are going to go to waste if they're not sold anyway. Four, same size and price, but healthier. Maggiano's Little Italy has created a menu called the Lighter Take Menu. You can either get the regular fettuccine Alfredo or the Lighter Take fettuccine Alfredo. The items have great Full taste, just way less calories. And the key is that the items are not smaller, lower margin portions. They're the same size and price as their counterparts. They didn't cut the margin, just the calories. Five, small bites, small price. Consider adding some menus that are such an attractive price and so interesting that guests just can't say no. This can work particularly well for dessert items. Are most of your guests saying no to dessert at the end of the meal? Give them a price and a size for when they want just a little something sweet. Six, limited time item pricing. Daily or weekly specials can be great for many reasons. 
It gives your servers something new to talk about. It lets you gauge guest interests and new menu items. It creates urgency to buy since it won't be available in the future. And importantly, it allows you to get higher margins for that item. Seven, bundling. This is when you put two or three menu items together and sell them as a combination. And we see this all the time in fast food, but it also happens in other restaurants. Some people want to try several different things. You can make it convenient for them and profitable for you by having a specially designed combination of favorites. Eight, slow time strategy, also known in many areas as happy hour. Remember, at the beginning, we talked about knowing your profit by hour. Happy hour pricing can be a great strategy to make money during the low profit periods. The idea is to have a full restaurant during these slow times, so be sure your offers are truly valuable to the guests. Nine, surprise pricing strategies. This is a good reason why you might want to consider building a text message list. Have a slow Tuesday, send out a special promotion only to those people on the text message list. A surprise special makes those guests feel important and can fill your restaurant during a downtime. 10. Price for the upsell. You can go from a 16 ounce beer to the 20 ounce for just $2 extra. It's critical that you test different strategies and see what works in your restaurant. Try it, track it, and measure your success. Join us next time for the next Restaurant Formula video. Thank you.